Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Gabe and today we're gonna to be looking at uh, my PB lap from Porsche Owner Club event back in March of early this year. And yeah, gonna talk about it a little quickly before you guys actually get to see the video because the car was actually not functioning properly and we didn't even know. Um, the drivability of the car was perfectly fine. Um, there was no codes or anything on the dash. We had a check engine light, but that was because of O2 sensors from running race headers, which we knew and uh, the car was still down over 100 horsepower. So the RS from factory should be making around 450 to 470 on a dyno, and um, we weren't even close to that. We were making 320, so big decrease in power, and we didn't know why. There, like I said, there was no codes um, other than O2 sensors. Jamie from Dundon was helping us out, so he told us maybe it's in a ghost limp mode, so we tried putting in some new O-rings in the part where the race header connects to the, the crack pipe and seeing if that worked and it didn't change anything. We were just so lost. There was no codes at all. And Jamie even thought at one point, maybe the car's losing compre compression. Maybe the engine's hurt. And uh, that was kind of scary because right after POC, we had probably a month until Circuit of the Americas for a super lap battle. So not much time and still trying to figure out what was going on with this car. And so, the one thing we didn't do was air intakes. And I'll insert the video now. When we got to Coda, I decided to do the air intakes. And uh, as you guys can see, the air boxes were loaded with dirt and rubber and debris. It was really bad. I, you know, I grew up around dirt bikes, quads, sand rails, trucks that you drive off road in, and never saw any intake that bad at all. Um, the air the air box was probably a quarter of the way filled with nothing but dirt and rubber. And so if you imagine you're driving around on track, all that shit's moving around, moving up and down, and then it's getting sucked up against the uh, air filter, the motor's not able to breathe properly. So once we swapped those air intakes out, it took some time for the car to adjust. Um, but once it adjusted, uh, I think by Sunday of Super Lap Battle Competition, which was our last day, I think we were back at full power. So yeah, just a heads up for RS owners, make sure you guys are checking your air boxes, swapping your air uh, intakes frequently. This RS only had 10,000 miles on it, so it's not, you know, crazy. You know, BMWs, I used to clean my air intakes after, you know, uh, 15,000 miles when I do oil changes. So with the RS, you know, you got those big, um, inlets on the side, on the hips, and uh, that's sucking in all kinds of dirt and debris and rubber that is being flung your way either by the front tires or by cars that are in front of you on track. And this car sees a lot of track time. So if you're tracking, you know, you're gonna have, you're more susceptible to swallowing a lot more debris, which means you should be cleaning and replacing your intakes regularly or more often than not. Check out the video, hope you guys enjoy the PB lap. Thank God the RS is okay. And hopefully next time, I really think that we'll be in the uh, 21s at Big Willow because uh, those of you who are familiar with Big Willow, it's a track where you need the power. To not have any of that power that I should have had over 25%, we're talking over 30% with the tune now, um, should be making around 500 horsepower. That's a big increase that uh, we should be getting. And we have a competition coming up later this year with Gridlife at Big Willow. So should be good, should be interesting. 